Welcome to uh, practicals under computer aided engineering course. Today we will perform experiment number 2. The title is Truss Analysis using 1D bar. And here is the problem statement. Just uh, look at the uh, data supplied to you. Okay. And we will directly go to the APDL screen. Okay. Now the problem belongs to structural domain as the truss uh, analysis we have to perform. So under preferences select structural next important thing is preprocessor so under preprocessor we have to select the element type so under element type uh, say add edit delete again add and under add we have to select link element okay and say okay so see that the element is added uh, the name of element is 180 link 180 close it next important thing we have to give the material properties under material properties select the material model under material model we will see uh, you will uh, see that there is a, a some few material models are available so under structural select linear elastic and isotropic and uh, give the e value as an input so let us check what is the e value so e value is 200 into 10 raised to 9 so i am going to give the input whenever you give input uh, uh, multiplication in and this APDL you have to uh, uh, put e, e as a 10 raised to okay so 10 raised to 11 uh, and the poison ratio is 0.3 say ok and uh, we have to exit the material model okay and uh, next is a section under section uh, there is option link okay and under link we have to add the link so I am going to give the section ID as of 1 because there is only one cross section area or the cross section area is same for every link. So uh, ID is 1 and under this uh, say uh, circular as a name or give circular as a name to the section and uh, value of the area. So let us check what is the value. Value is 0 0.01 meter square. Again the units are same so I am going to just keep put the area as a 0 0.01 and say ok. Next important option is uh, modeling. Under modeling uh, we will create the nodes first. So under nodes, so nodes uh, uh, we have to select uh, option inactive CS. CS means coordinate system. So under this uh, let us give the first uh, point. We, we have to decide the origin first. So I am clicking uh, this C point as a origin. Okay, you can take A point as a origin. No matter. It, it doesn't matter. Now uh, the option is gone. So to get the option back, just say raise header. Okay, so the option will come. And uh, uh, for the first node, uh, as it is a origin for me, so I am putting the coordinates as a 0, 0, 0. Say apply. Now for the second coordinate, C uh, from C to A uh, the value is 2.8 and uh, it is only Y increment there is no increment in X so I am giving the value for second as a 2.80 okay and 2.8 as a Y coordinate okay see that it is created at the top for the next coordinate that is 3 number uh, there is a Y value Sorry, there is x value as 1.5 and y value as a 0.8 from the top okay again go back to the uh, screen yes for the third coordinate the 1.5 as a x value and 2 which is 2.8 minus 0.8 okay height of that particular point and say okay see that the, there are three nodes are created now uh, let us create the elements using these three nodes. So under elements, auto numbered and through node. Select the option through node. Select first node. Select second node and say OK. Right. Again, select second node. Select third node and say OK. Select again third node and the first node and say OK. So you can press the middle button to uh, say OK. So need not to go again and again. Okay. Next important thing we have to give the loads. Okay. So under loads option. So let us define the uh, fixed point first. So in the diagram 
see that the a point is fixed so it's all degrees of freedom are fixed but for c point uh, the displacement uh, along the y axis is allowed uh, and along the x axis it is restricted so let us create it first okay uh, define load apply and uh, structural and again displacement on nodes so for a uh, for node number 2 or point a the all displacements are zero so select all displacement equal to zero and for node 2 uh, node 1 uh, okay uh, select only select only or uh, we have to uh, restrict only the displacement in x direction and allow the displacement in y direction so i am selecting only ux and say okay now to give the force at node number 3 use the f command so f press f in the command prompt let us see the value of the load value of the load is 2.8 kN so uh, i have pressed f then the node number node number is 3 right and the the orientation of the force it is fx fy or fz now uh, looking at the uh, figure it is fy so i am selecting fy and it is vertically downward so i have to put value as a negative and the value is 2.8 so i am uh, taking 2800 okay it is 2.8 kN so it is minus 2800 say enter so that's how the values are entered next important thing we have to go for the solution okay so under solution tab solve and say current ls okay so now current ls solution is done so that's how simple it is let us now see the results so under general processor tab we have to say first plot results under plot result deform shape and select the middle option under that and see that how the deformation is uh, done okay so you have to take the screenshot of this next important thing uh, control plot under control plot nodal solution and displacement vector sum under nodal solution say okay okay and see that how the uh, nodes are displaced red color means they are displaced maximum and the blue colors means they are displaced minimum again you can do the animation okay and next important thing we have to see the stresses build up so for stresses go in the result viewer tab result viewer tab and under result viewer tab select stress and under stress you select the bone massage stresses okay under select tab bone massage stresses and say plot okay when you say the plot you will get the uh, result for the stress okay again you can take the image of this okay and close this now uh, next important thing we have to uh, list down the results so to do that uh, go under list result option under that nodal solution again uh, under nodal solution doe solution and under that displacement vector sum select okay and you will see the results okay just look at the results 1 2 3 okay and you can save this results okay thank you for attending